Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints here. I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm finally able to get back in the saddle and get some cards read, so I apologize for the delay in the holiday readings and for the delay in the January readings, but here's the hard facts of the matter. I suffer from arthritis, and there's days, especially this time of year when it's colder out, when my hands just straight up will not cooperate, and if I can't shuffle the cards, I can't. I can't really do much, so, <laughs> but we're back in the saddle, we're here, we're running this, and I believe I left off on Gemini. So, Gemini, this will be your holiday season reading. So, let's just figure out what happened with Gemini, and what might be happening in the immediate future. If this resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do. The message given by the cards. You choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Check your moon rising and Venus sign readings. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be but vice versa. And if it's not your story, leave the cards on the table and walk away. So, why are you here? Okay. Nine of Wands. I'm getting the sense that you're extremely heavily guarded, Gemini. What's going on? All up in arms about something. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The moon in the reverse. Things could be coming to light with this person. Possibly might be a Pisces. What do you think of them? Six of Swords. Something about moving on. You want to cross the troubled waters? Or you think they are in the process of it, maybe? I don't know. We'll throw a clarifier on that. That's a card. Wow. What do you want from them? You want the Ten of Pentacles. You want the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 the, 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 the kids and the dog and all that happy jazz. What's up with this, though? Hmm. Well, how do they feel about you? Death card. Major Arcana. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. Truth is coming to light. Huh. Okay. Could be about resurrecting something from the dead or something they thought was dead. Could be spiritual transformation. What do they think of you? Six of Cups. This goes like Cadillac seats way back. Good memory is good times. You guys have probably been kicking it for a while. Okay. What do they want from you? Knight of Cups reversed. So you kind of want the same thing. The Knight of Cups for me speaks about commitment. And it not just being words. We'll throw a clarifier on it. So you want the abundance. They want the commitment. Hmm. What's the obstacle? This is always fun. Five of Swords. What happened? <clears throat> I'm sensing a harsh exchange of words. Again, we'll throw a clarifier on it, but... Somebody in this instance may have been a sore loser. Hmm. Okay. Hard to pick up the pieces from that one, but what's the possible resolution? Temperance in the reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm definitely going to need a clarifier because I'm not understanding how that could be a resolution. Huh. 
Okay. Leave those be for a minute. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Gemini friends, please, for their holiday read? Something happened over Christmas? You have a harsh exchange of words with somebody? <laughs> might not have been over Christmas. Might have been a little bit ago. Could be in process now. I don't know. I'm just reading cards. Well, gosh, you know, let me get a question out. Hermit upright star reversed on top of this nine of wands. We're guarded. We're, we're, we're going down that spiritual path. Something we haven't healed from. Harsh energies between you, maybe. You're both mid or arcana. Could be a Virgo. Could be an Aquarius. You know, if it's setting off alarms, run with it. If it's not, leave it alone. Can I get one more on that? Just one. Clear that up a little bit. Hi. Well, that's clarity, isn't it? Okay, so... Let's get it where you can actually see the card. This table is just a cluster cuss, let me tell you. Gemini, that is your card. Maybe somebody had a choice between lovers. Maybe someone's feeling the connection a little bit more than the other person. Why is the moon reversed here? For how Gemini feels about the other person. Thank you. Full reversed. Five of wands. Spats, confrontations, someone's not trustworthy, possibly some truths came out, and yeah, could have been a spat. Realize that you can't trust this person. Maybe your trust was violated. Huh, okay. Yeah, just let him fall. It's fine. It's fine. I'll clean the table later. Why is the Six of Swords here? Oh, Gemini, what Gemini thinks of the other person? Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay. Oh, wow, that card's jacked up. We're still going to play with it, though, because it's still working. Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Commitment. One more. Page of Cups upright. You're thinking they moved on because the other person had a. I won't say a better offer. One more. A different offer. Two of Wands reversed, Ace of Swords, can't let go, can't let go, can't let go. There's a lack of communication, miscommunication, something wasn't let go of. So you're thinking they moved on, but there's something that wasn't let go of. Words not spoken. Like, I want to say it, but I can't. Okay, okay. Why can't you say it? Really? Gemini, I don't mean to blast you, but I've never known a Gemini to not be able to say something that needed to be said. Just saying. Just saying. What? You see my flowery yoga pants? Aren't these beautiful? I love these. Yeah. 
show you my fat roll while I'm at it. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why not? Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, there you are. Six of Pentacles. You want the abundance. You want equal, equal give and take. You want the playing field to be level. But you can't trust this person. Okay. Why is the death card here? Ten of Pentacles. Well. They want to resurrect this from the dead. I mean, they, they want to dig up a grave here. They want to dig up the grave. And they want to shoot for that abundance. That's how they feel about you. They see you as the abundance that they're looking for. They see you as the dream. You are their dream come true. Wow. Wow. What do they think of you? Why is the uh, six cups for what the other person thinks of Gemini? Seven of Swords. Like it. Seven of Swords reversed. Ain't nothing left unsaid there. That's right. Mm hmm. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Uh huh. Sometimes the Five of Swords is too honest. Sometimes the Five of Swords can indicate that conversation that changed everything. Mm-hmm. It's that conversation. It's that conversation. If you're picking up on this, you know what I'm talking about. I just keep hearing it's that conversation. It was that conversation. Fives represent change. Five of swords, five of wands. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, hi, come right out with it. Four of Pentacles reversed. One more. Something about a release. Four of Wands. The celebration, the abundance, the coming together, the spiritual connection, the 1111. The door's opening. They want it, Gemini. They want it. Okay, we've talked about Five of Swords enough. I'm not throwing a clarifier on this. I think we all know what happened. Because this card right here, this is the, well, okay, what happened? We know what happened. You know what happened. There was, a, there was an argument. There was a confrontation. There was the game changer. There was that conversation. We're not going to beat that dead horse anymore. Why is Temperance reverse here for the possible resolution? Oh, well, gosh. Just come right out and talk, why don't you? The world. This fireworks going off. It's New Year's Eve. And I'm reading cards. Okay. One more. I mean, the world kind of speaks for itself, but it doesn't always speak for itself. Ten of Wands. Somebody, somebody needs to release that burden. Dropping cards here. I'll find, oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. 
showing off my, my clutter pile here. We're in the process of packing things because we're looking into buying a house. So I got to jump on it on my, on my four day vacation. Anyway, anyway, 10 of wands, the world temperance reversed. I think communication's been blocked here and things have been left unsaid after the that conversation. Obviously, they want to release it, Gemini. I think that finally needs to happen. I think you both have some things that you need to get off your chest. The star in the reverse can also indicate a lack of healing, things not being released things not being allowed to flow properly. The temperance in the reverse is things not being allowed to flow properly. And part of positive energy flow is communication. You gotta end it. You gotta end it. Release the burden. Let it go. All right, what's the outcome? Page of Wands, I mean, it's it's fiery communication anyway. I mean, wherever that leads is up to you. Throw a clarifier on that. Hangman reverse. Can we get better than that? Five of Cups reversed. Well, come out of the sad cycle. Hangman reversed can mean cutting yourself out of the gallows or stringing yourself back up into them. I mean, do whatever you're going to do with it, Gemini. Okay. Some advice. Hair fence. Page of Pentacles reversed. Well, if you're going to take the offer of the blessed union and you're going to go for it, um, it better be what you want. That's all I have to say about that. And they better be coming in with a big sack full of uh, pentacle apologies. So, it's up to you, Gemini. Do whatever you're going to do. But, sorry for the delay again. I'm glad I'm feeling better. I hope you're glad that I'm feeling better and hopefully by Monday I'll still be feeling better because 2021 is going to be our year here at Fireside and Tarot. Big things are going to happen. Big things that we've been talking about for almost two years now. So let's see what we can make happen this year. Love you. Be blessed. Have a wonderful 2021. Okay. Catch you later.